Hybrid cloud architectures have become fairly common. Resiliency Platform supports multiple cloud platforms, and today we're looking at deployment level architecture of how Resiliency Platform would work with Microsoft Azure. So first to note, we have here an on-site data center. Right, so this is a traditional VMware configuration on-site. And over here, we have the Azure cloud, and we have infrastructure configured within an Azure virtual network. Pieces to introduce from the resiliency platform side are our data mover gateway. This is the actual appliance that moves data from our on-site data center into infrastructure running within Azure. Another thing to be familiar with is called the resiliency group. This is a resiliency platform construct that enables us to group applications in the way that they're used. So seeing here, we have a resiliency group for our web tier, and we have one for our application tier, and those are grouped together as resiliency groups. Now, in the event that we want to move systems from one site into Azure, that can be done at the resiliency group level. So how does this actually work? What we'll do is we'll introduce a tap driver into the VM to capture I.O. as it's moving from a VM down to its disk. So we can tap that I.O. then send that I.O. stream up here to the data mover gateway. Which can then replicate that data across to the gateway that it's paired with within the Azure cloud. In this case, that gets done for both our resiliency groups. So we're replicating data for the entire applications from our on-site data center into our Azure virtual network. So over here, once the data is replicated into our gateway appliance on the Azure virtual network, that data is actually applied down to Azure storage disks, which are already provisioned within the virtual network. One other thing to mention is that when the initial resiliency groups are created, there's a data sync process that happens between our on-site data center and our systems here running in Azure so that the data here is synced with the disk sitting in Azure prior to any operation being executed. So another thing that we can do with Resiliency Platform is something we call a DR rehearsal. And this is where we can use a snapshot of the data that's been replicated from our on-site data center into our Azure virtual network and we can use a snapshot to bring up temporary systems within the Azure cloud that can be used for testing purposes. So for example, say we wanted to do a rehearsal with uh, our uh, resiliency group application here, and we wanted to test that within Azure prior to an actual DR failover, we can do a rehearsal where we would bring up snapshots of the disks as well as temporarily provisioned VMs and that can be used for testing purposes all in isolation without affecting anything from the production side. Once that's done, Resiliency Platform manages the cleanup of this rehearsal environment. So essentially, all the disks are deleted, the VMs are deleted, and it goes back to normal. Also to note, there's a couple things here that are of interest. The traffic between our two data mover gateways is encrypted. We also do stuff to optimize the data flow, like dedupe and compression, so that we're only moving unique data between our sites. Also, in terms of the configuration on the Azure site, this can be done using the Azure Marketplace. So what that means is users can log on to the Azure Marketplace where we currently have images for all our VRP components, which is our Resiliency Manager, our Infrastructure Management Server, and our Data Mover Appliances. So once you're logged on to the Azure Marketplace, you can launch what's called an Express Install, and this process will essentially deploy all the Resiliency Platform components within Azure as one single process, making things really simple from a deployment perspective within the Azure Cloud. 
Now, all of this can be configured and executed with as little as one click. And we also support bidirectional communication, meaning that operations can be performed from an on-site data center into the Azure cloud and can also be done the opposite direction. So systems within an Azure cloud can be migrated back to an on-site data center. Again, all within a single pane of glass. So in conclusion, we looked at how we can move workloads from an on-site data center into Azure. We also saw how we can move workloads from Azure back on site. Making VR operations between an on-site data center and Microsoft Azure simple. And we also saw how the resiliency platform components can be deployed using the Azure Marketplace, making the overall install process really simple. All of this can be configured within one platform and can be configured to be executed with as little as one click.